Uh, we have an app of the week. Hi, guys. Uh, I mean, I think that's Katie's. Hi, that's me. What you got? I got the... Oh, I forgot. Where's my app thing at? It disappeared. That's where I'm at today. Uh, the Like That Garden. Um, I'm a big planter, and I'm a big gardener, and I'm a big... What's, what's this flower here? Um, it's actually... A, there's several Like That apps that I think are really, really cool. Uh, the Like That Garden, specifically, just because of this time of year. Uh, you take a picture of the flower, and, um, it essentially uses the um it, it's able to identify the flower based upon how it looks and um it's very very accurate because i was i was taking photos of things that i knew what they were and they, it was right on um and that um so it was really neat for me because i'm always like what is this plant what is this thing here so um it, it's a really cool app for that and the other two that they have are like that and it's a pet finder and there's like that like a furniture finder um if you see a piece of furniture like oh i love this couch you take a picture of the, the couch and it tells you where you can find it uh, the pet finder uh, takes a, you take a picture of a type of animal, cat or dog, and it tells you the local shelters that have that type of dog available or cat available. So it's a really neat adoption tool too. Now, it actually, I hadn't heard of them until I, I checked out the garden app, but I, I was pretty impressed with their visual um, recognition software. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So, so it's mostly flowers because I have some leaves I need to identify. No, it does leaves too. <laughs> it, does. It, like, it does because we were looking is up this vines. Poisonous? Yeah, no, it'll tell you though. It'll tell Good. you if it's poison ivy because um, we were checking out a vine and it'll give you several options. So, so just in case uh, you're not, it, it's not right on the first time. If you go through the pictures, just scroll through, and it gives you options um, of other pictures to look at from that one. So maybe it looks like oh, it kind of looks like that one. You click on it and you can look through more pictures that people have po you know that they've posted, uploaded online. Mm -hmm. um, to see if it's whether or not it's it, and then you, you click again, and you, I think you go to the Wikipedia site for the plant. But it's it's still neat how you can learn about the plants and figure out what everything is, and whether or not it's poisonous is a very good application for that, especially for you. <laughs> yeah, I presume you can click through like a couch and like you could buy it somewhere. Or yeah, something the, like, the that. like that so, furniture one. So that's probably how they're, uh, and it's probably some kind of application, of course, with the adoption mm -hmm. and agencies and everything for the other one. So that's that's a pretty cool use of uh, uh, recognition mm -hmm. software there. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So that's uh, likethatapps.com. And if you type like that, I'm downloading uh, like four of them right now mm -hmm. uh, to check those out. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Do they have a like that pizza? Mm. You identify makers of pizzas, Katie? Man, I, I Personally, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I need an app. <laughs> There's an app for that, right? Somewhere <laughs> along the line. Slice on Broadway. Our friends are helping out. I know uh, we were delayed, which gave uh, Katie an opportunity.